Hi, and welcome to another episode of Pensacola Computers Presents. Today, we're going to be installing the latest TNT Lite 3 onto our ViewSonic G tablet, which is currently running TNT 2.2. This uh, tablet has already been rooted, and we're using Clockwork Mod. Uh, one of the first things uh, that is always suggested to do before you go and do something like uh, putting on a new ROM is to make sure that you've got a current backup. Um, here we're using titanium backup and it's always a good idea to go in um, and what I always do is I will go and choose to run the batch and then what you want to do is uh, what I do is back up all user apps and system data just to make sure um, for me, I've already done that. Everything is, has been synced um, yesterday, so I'm pretty much ready to go there. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and go get the ROM. Uh, what I did is I already downloaded uh, the files to my computer, and what I'm going to do is using ES File Explorer, I'm going to go to my local LAN, and I've already got the update zip file uh, available. We'll go ahead and we'll just copy that. Go back to the local root. And we will pull up our clipboard and select paste. It'll take just a moment to pull this in to the root of the drive. Okay, now we've got the update zip file in the directory, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and power off the device. And once the device is powered off, we will reboot into recovery mo mode by pressing the volume button and the start button at the same time. Okay, now we're rebooting into recovery mode. We can see that it has noticed that the recovery key was pressed. And here we have the clockwork recovery. What we're going to do now is we are going to select the option to apply the SD card update zip. And as the instructions say, you use the volume to highlight and then you go over and hit the home key to select it and then we're going to go down and confirm to install kick our home key and then there we can see we've got the TNT light is installing it's installing the boot image installing the vanilla system it usually takes uh, about a minute or so to run through all of the things that it's going to do to install. Now it's installing additional system ads and deletions and once that completes we'll be able to reboot and here we have installation is done please reboot we will go back up and reboot the system And sometimes uh, on the system reboot, it hangs for a little while. Uh, that's perfectly normal. Uh, best thing to do is just give it a little bit of time. If for some reason you do get stuck in a reboot um, or it just gets stuck, uh, you can do a hard power off. And I find sometimes that helps it push on through. And we've got our loading animation going. As I said, don't worry if it takes a bit longer than normal uh, going through the animation. Give it a little time. Go uh, grab a cup of coffee or something. And here we go. Booted back into the system. Let's go ahead and just check and make sure we got everything applied. And if you get one of those uh, error messages, sometimes what you need to do is go in and run a reset on the permissions and I'll show you about how to do that in a minute let's go ahead and just check in our about tablet and there we go a tap UI version is set to TNT Lite 3.1 what we're going to do right now once we've got that update applied is we're going to go ahead and set it up so we can now update um, from the TNT Lite 3.1 we're going to go ahead and apply the 3.1 update 
and I had already copied uh, using the ES File Explorer I've already copied the update over the wireless LAN we'll go ahead and power off and we've got the detect recovery key pressed again and we're booting into the clockwork mod same thing we'll do just as we did before we're going to go ahead and we will just highlight to apply the update zip run that go down and confirm and there we go and this runs a whole lot quicker because basically it's just uh, putting a patch on updating a few files and it is now done we'll just go ahead and go back up and reboot the system and there we go okay we've rebooted now and we're back uh, to our G tablet and what we're going to do now is let's just take a look and make sure that we got upgraded to the latest version go into our about and there we have it tap UI TNT Lite version 3.14 now I would mentioned before that sometimes you might have uh, some error messages when you start up uh, a lot of times this can be fixed by actually fixing the permissions um, if you go in and you've got your ROM manager, um, open up your ROM manager. And if you go into your ROM manager, you'll see that there is a nice thing called fix permissions. We'll run that. It will run through and it will go through and fix any permission issues that you might have. Uh, changing to the appropriate permissions. A lot of times this will fix... Uh, some of those error messages that you might get on startup. Just go ahead and let this run. And there we go. And once it's done, it does tell you that you should reboot. G Tablet is one of those that uh, works fantastically once you get some uh, good software on there. Uh, be advised though that the uh, TNT Lite is a work in progress, so they're uh, is still apt to be some bugs and there we go right back into the UI uh, no more bugs after running the uh, fixed permissions and there we go uh, another tutorial uh, keep an eye out we'll have some new ones coming your way soon